Hey guys, Brandon of Beyond Tools, aka BYOT. Thank you for joining me, and today, problem solving is a beautiful thing sometimes, and I actually had a perfect example of that this weekend when trying to get a pipe underneath a concrete patio without having to chip it up. I'll show you how it's done. Let's get started. First off, I have to rip out all the dead grass in order to put some nice, beautiful sod in. Yeah, super fun, and I'm sure you're completely jealous of the fact that I spent my nice little Saturday doing this. Yep. In any case, after we removed all the dead grass, it's time to actually install a sprinkler system. The only problem is, is that we were left with a nice, beautiful dirt, but we had a big concrete patio in our way, and we had to get across there to get to the hose bib to install the sprinkler system. Now, how are we going to do this? Mm. I figured out a way. I basically created a makeshift spear out of a step drill bit as well as three quarter inch black iron pipe that I had laying around. I put a fitting on the back end because I need to extend the spear length because a 48 inch piece is not going to be long enough. Look at that. Aren't I just so creative and inventive? Sometimes I tell you what. In any case, go ahead and start shoveling out the remaining dirt that you need to get underneath the concrete patio and smooth that out as best as possible. Then go ahead and place your makeshift spear into your little trench area and start getting ready to pound away. Yeah, trust me, it's gonna take a lot of work to get this thing all the way across to this side. But the nice thing is that all you need for this is a trusty sledgehammer and a little bit of muscle, and that's it. Now the one thing I am going to suggest that I didn't do is actually put some type of small piece on the end that you can actually hammer into and damage that piece versus the actual flange piece that you're going to be uh, needing in the long run because as you can see it was a bit wobbly and wonky at the end because I had slightly damaged it. Yeah, whoops, don't know my own strength or maybe I do, just obviously black iron piping is not the strongest steel you could ever imagine. Yeah. Once you've pounded away the correct distance, go ahead and check the other side, and look at that. We made it! We actually made it. I am pretty impressed with the fact that we made it to the other side. And after that, all you need to do is tie it off and start yanking. Now, in all honesty and full disclosure, this actually took a quite a bit longer than what I actually recorded because I forgot to record this entire process, but this did work out completely with the help of a ratchet strap, which I will be leaving a link in the description box below, so check that out. And all you need to do from there is feed the hose through, and you can actually hear my dad in all of his glee with the fact that this actually worked. Woo! Hey, you're in! <laughs> We're in! Yeah, we both are pretty surprised that this actually worked. And once you have your system fully installed, as you can see, boom, look at that, perfect. Go ahead and turn it on and wait for it. Look at that. That is one beautiful, sexy beast. It actually works. And I will leave a link in the description box on Rainbird's installation video, which is very thorough. So check that out. And there you have episode number 27 of BWT done. Look at that, just a little bit of ingenuity and creativity. You're able to get through a lot of different DIY projects. So please keep that in mind. Thank you for watching. Please like this video. Please subscribe to this channel. And please let me know what you like me to do on my next video. I might do it in any case of your time and catch you next time. This is what I had to use to get this thing out of the earth. Yeah. Get one of those.